Hello, everyone. In a deeply emotional and unprecedented announcement, King Charles III revealed that his sister, Princess Anne, will be stepping down from her royal duties following a tragic accident. This news, delivered during a somber press conference, sent shockwaves through the British monarchy and beyond, marking a significant and sorrowful moment in royal history. King Charles struggled to hold back tears as he spoke about Anne's unexpected departure from public life, a reality that no one had seen coming. Princess Anne has long been recognized as one of the hardest working members of the royal family, known for her unwavering dedication to her role. She has tirelessly represented the crown at countless events and supported numerous charitable causes over the years. For many, she embodies the spirit of duty, resilience, and quiet strength that defines the British monarchy. Thus, the news of her sudden resignation due to a serious accident has come as a tragic and unexpected blow. King Charles, addressing the nation with a heavy heart, confirmed the seriousness of the situation and expressed his unwavering strength and resilience. With his voice trembling, he stated that while this heartbreaking decision is necessary for Anne's health and well-being, it is still incredibly difficult. The details of the accident remain private, with the royal family requesting respect and discretion as they navigate this deeply personal and challenging time. What is clear, however, is that Anne's injuries are serious enough to require her immediate withdrawal from royal duties. Information about the accident that has left Princess Anne unable to continue her work is still mostly unknown, leading to public concern and speculation. The little information that has been shared suggests that this was not just a minor incident, but a significant event that has changed Anne's ability to maintain her busy schedule of royal engagements. The royal family, usually stoic in the face of challenges, has reacted with notable emotion, reflecting the profound impact this situation has had on them. From my perspective, it's completely understandable why the family would choose to keep the details of Anne's accident private. Throughout her life, Princess Anne has shown a strong commitment to her role without seeking the spotlight. She has always preferred to let her actions speak for themselves, focusing on her duties with a quiet determination that has earned her widespread respect. This private approach continues to be evident in her current circumstances. Navigating this deeply personal and painful chapter away from the public eye, Princess Anne's departure from her royal duties marks the end of an era. Her unwavering commitment to the monarchy has made her an irreplaceable figure in the royal family. From her early years as a young princess to her later roles as a senior royal, Anne's work ethic has been nothing short of extraordinary. She has completed more engagements than many of her peers, often without the fanfare or recognition she truly deserves. Anne's absence will be profoundly felt across the charities and organizations she has supported over the decades, from her work with Save the Children to her patronage of various sports and educational initiatives. Her contributions have impacted countless lives. Her ability to connect with people from all walks of life, combined with her straightforward approach, has made her a beloved figure not only in the United Kingdom, but around the world. Reflecting on her legacy, it's clear that Anne's impact goes far beyond her official titles. She has always been more than just a royal figurehead. She has been a true public servant, dedicated to making a difference wherever she could. Her departure leaves a void that will be challenging, if not impossible, to fill. It serves as a stark reminder of the personal sacrifices that members of the royal family often make in service to their country. King Charles' announcement was not just a formal statement, it was a heartfelt expression of brotherly love and profound sadness. His visible struggle to maintain composure highlighted the emotional toll the situation has taken on him and the entire royal family. Charles' tribute to Anne underscored the immense respect he holds for his sister and acknowledged her decades-long dedication to the crown. Anne has always been a pillar of strength and resilience. As Charles spoke, his voice cracked under the weight of his emotions. He acknowledged that while this decision is heartbreaking, it is necessary for Anne's health and well-being. It was clear from his words that the choice for Anne to step back was not made lightly. It was essential for her recovery and long-term health. Charles' emotional response resonated with many, serving as a poignant reminder of the human side of the royal family, often hidden beneath the layers of duty and decorum. Having witnessed Anne's unwavering dedication over the years, Charles' words struck a chord with me. It is rare to see such raw emotion from a monarch, and it speaks volumes about the seriousness of the situation. Charles' tribute was more than just a statement of fact. It was a brother's heartfelt plea for understanding and a call for the public to respect Anne's privacy during this challenging time. 
The news of Princess Anne's resignation has sparked an overwhelming outpouring of support from the public on social media, with messages of love, gratitude, and sadness flooding in. This reflects the deep affection many feel for Anne, who is viewed as one of the most relatable and hardworking members of the royal family, admire for her straightforward approach and genuine commitment to her role. Many have shared their hopes for Anne's recovery, recognizing the immense contribution she has made over the years. There is a collective sense of loss, not just for the royal family, but also for the public, who have long regarded Anne as a symbol of resilience and dedication. Her resignation marks a significant change in the royal landscape, and it is clear that she will be deeply missed. From my perspective, the public's response is a testament to Anne's lasting legacy. She has impacted so many lives, not through grand gestures or flashy headlines, but through her steady and quiet service. Her influence is evident in the countless charities she has supported, the people she has met, and the causes she has championed. It's no surprise that her departure has stirred such strong emotions among many. As the royal family copes with this unexpected turn of events, they now face the challenge of filling the void left by Princess Anne's absence. Her departure will undoubtedly put additional pressure on other senior royals, including King Charles, Prince William, and Princess Catherine, to step up and take on more responsibilities. This is a daunting task considering the vast amount of work that Anne managed to handle with such dedication. King Charles, in particular, will likely feel the loss of his sister's support deeply. Anne has always been a dependable and steadfast presence within the family, providing counsel stability and a shared sense of duty. Her absence will impact not only the public-facing side of the monarchy, but also the private dynamics within the royal family. This is a loss that will be felt on many levels. However, the resilience that Anne has demonstrated throughout her life is something the royal family can lean on during this difficult time. They have faced adversity before and will undoubtedly face it again. Anne's legacy of hard work and dedication will continue to inspire those who remain. Reminding them of the values that define the monarchy, this moment serves as a personal reflection on its impact and what comes next. Personally, I find this moment both heartbreaking and reflective of the immense pressures that come with royal life. Anne's departure is a poignant reminder that even those who seem unbreakable are not immune to life's trials. It is a humbling reality that highlights the humanity behind the crowns and titles. Anne's legacy is one of quiet strength, tireless service, and unwavering commitment to her role. She has set an example that will be difficult to follow, but it is one that will continue to guide the royal family as they navigate this new chapter. Her departure is not just a loss for the monarchy, it is a loss for everyone who admired her dedication and spirit. I can't help but feel a deep sense of respect for Anne and the life she has led. She has faced every challenge with grace, never seeking the spotlight or glory, always focused on her duties. Her impact will be felt long after her resignation, and her legacy will endure as a testament to serving with dignity, humility, and heart. However, a deeper look at Princess Anne's sudden resignation due to a tragic accident reveals more than just a personal loss for the royal family. It signifies a profound shift in the dynamics of the British monarchy. Anne's departure compels us to confront deeper, often unspoken aspects of royal life, shedding light on the immense pressures faced by those who serve the crown. As the royal family navigates this uncharted territory, the implications of Anne's absence will ripple through their public engagements, internal dynamics, and future strategies. Her forced resignation highlights a frequently overlooked reality. The relentless demands placed on members of the royal family are significant. Anne has always been viewed as the workhorse of the monarchy, often outshining other royals with the sheer number of engagements she undertakes each year. However, this unwavering commitment has come at a cost. For decades, Anne has prioritized duty over personal well-being, maintaining a grueling schedule that would exhaust most people. Her tragic accident serves as a stark reminder of the physical and emotional strain that accompanies a life of public service. The constant travel, relentless scrutiny, and expectation to always be at one's best can take a heavy toll. Even the strongest individuals can be worn down by such pressures. Anne's resignation is not just about stepping back due to an injury, it reflects the cumulative effect of a lifetime spent putting the crown first. This moment compels us to reconsider the often romanticized view of royal duty and recognize the very real sacrifices that come with it. Princess Anne's departure doesn't only impact the public-facing side of the monarchy, it also disrupts the delicate internal dynamics of the royal family. Known for her no-nonsense approach and ability to cut through drama, Anne has always been a stabilizing force within the family. 
With her blunt yet supportive demeanor, her absence will create a gap in the personal support system that King Charles and the entire family have relied on for decades. Without Anne's steady presence, King Charles may find himself feeling more isolated, especially as he continues to shape his reign amid increasing public scrutiny and familial pressures. This shift could impact how decisions are made within the family, especially on matters where Anne's pragmatic voice would have served as a valuable counterbalance. While the royal family is often seen as a unified front, it is actually a complex web of relationships, alliances, and occasional conflicts. Anne's absence disrupts this intricate balance, potentially altering how the family functions behind the scenes. Additionally, her retirement places extra burdens on other senior royals, particularly those who are already managing their own heavy responsibilities. Filling Anne's role will be no easy task her depth of experience. Personal connections with numerous organizations and tireless work ethic make her irreplaceable. Other royals will need to step up, but it is unlikely anyone can match Anne's unique blend of dedication, knowledge, and influence. Moreover, Anne's resignation could mark a significant turning point in the public's perception of the monarchy. For many, she embodied the steadfast, hardworking image of the royal family with a no-nonsense approach to duty that was greatly appreciated, especially when compared to the more sensationalized and often controversial narratives surrounding other family members. Her departure may shift the public's focus to how the monarchy adapts to this loss. The royal family now faces the challenge of maintaining the level of public engagement that Anne consistently provided. With her gone, the monarchy will need to reassess how it manages public appearances and charitable commitments. Will other members be able to maintain the same level of visibility and connection with the public? Or will Anne's absence create a noticeable gap in the monarchy's public presence, potentially affecting its overall standing? This situation also presents an opportunity for the royal family to reevaluate its approach to royal duties. Anne's resignation highlights the need for a more sustainable model of engagement, one that balances the heavy demands placed on senior royals with their personal health and well-being. The monarchy's future strategy may require a more flexible approach to public service, recognizing the human limits of even the most dedicated royals. Princess Anne's departure raises important questions about succession planning within the royal family. Although she was never in line for the throne, her role as a senior royal has been vital in supporting the day-to-day -day functions of the monarchy. Her absence puts extra pressure on the future generation of royals, particularly Prince William and Princess Catherine, who will be expected to take on more responsibilities. As King Charles' reign progresses, William and Catherine have already shown themselves to be capable, dedicable, dedicated royals. However, Anne's departure highlights the need for a broader strategy that prepares them for an even more prominent role. The monarchy cannot rely on just a few key figures to handle the public's expectations it will need a strong support system that can adapt to unexpected changes like Anne's resignation. This situation also reminds us that the royal family must invest in preparing the younger generation for future roles. As Anne steps back, it will be essential to create a more cohesive plan for how the next wave of royals will contribute to the monarchy's mission. This includes not only William and Catherine, but also other members who may take on supporting roles in the years ahead. Princess Anne's resignation feels like the end of an era, a moment that reminds us to appreciate the often unseen efforts of a royal who dedicated her life to service without chasing the spotlight. Losing Anne feels like losing a vital anchor for the royal family, someone who always stood strong amid the tides of change and controversy. Her resignation is a clear reminder that even the most resilient figures have their limits, urging us to reconsider how we view the demands placed on those who serve in the royal family. Anne has always stood out to me in the royal family. Her genuine nature, tireless dedication, and straightforward attitude make her unique. In a world often filled with formality, she shows a quiet strength that doesn't seek recognition or applause. She simply does her duty day in and day out. Her resignation leaves a noticeable absence, one that will be felt not only by the royal family, but also by the countless communities she has impacted. Anne's decision to step down is a reminder for the royal family and its supporters. It underscores the need for a more caring approach to royal responsibilities, focusing on the well-being of its members. While we admire the hard work of people like Anne, we must remember that even royals have their limits. They are human beings who deserve the same care and compassion they often give to others. Looking ahead, I hope the royal family takes this time to reflect on how they can better support their own, ensuring that the demands of public life don't come at the cost of personal well-being.
Princess Anne's legacy is one of service, strength, and resilience, but it also reminds us of the personal toll that such dedication can take. It's no wonder people both miss and admire Princess Anne so much. For years, she's been the quiet force behind the monarchy, working tirelessly without seeking the spotlight. Her departure highlights the important, yet often unnoticed, roles that some royals play in keeping the monarchy running smoothly roles that, unlike the more public figures, don't always receive the recognition they deserve. Anne's work focused on the less glamorous, yet essential tasks, the foundation of royal duties that help the monarchy stay connected to everyday life. Her quiet but steady presence will be deeply missed, and it may push the royal family to face a significant challenge who will step into these crucial, though less visible, roles. It's not just about filling her calendar with events. Her absence could shake the careful balance of responsibilities that keeps the monarchy functioning smoothly. Anne was the glue that held together numerous organizations, maintained key relationships, and supported her brother, King Charles. This kind of support cannot be replaced by grand ceremonies or public appearances alone. Princess Anne's resignation sheds light on the often overlooked burden carried by the support royals, those who aren't in line for the throne but still play crucial roles in fulfilling the monarchy's public duties. Royals like Anne, Prince Edward, and others work quietly behind the scenes, handling engagements that are vital to the monarchy's image but rarely make the news. These roles are less glamorous, often demanding intense schedules and constant travel. Anne's sudden departure highlights the heavy toll these duties can take. It raises an important question about the sustainability of these roles. Can the royal family continue to expect its members to endure such grueling schedules without addressing the personal costs? Anne's resignation may signal that the current model of royal duty is unsustainable in the long run, especially for those who lack the high-profile status of direct heirs. Anne's departure also highlights a broader generational shift within the monarchy. As one of the older working royals, her resignation brings attention to the need for royal roles to adapt to the strengths and expectations of younger generations. Royals like William and Catherine have already started to focus on modern issues like mental health, early childhood development, and environmental sustainability. However, Anne's exit presents a unique challenge. How can the monarchy continue the extensive traditional engagement she upheld while also adopting a more flexible, modern approach? This generational shift isn't just about passing on responsibilities, it's about rethinking how the monarchy functions in today's world. Should the royal family stick to traditional duties, or should it evolve to reflect the values of the next generation? Anne's resignation marks a pivotal moment that could lead to a reevaluation of what it means to be a working royal finding a balance between preserving tradition and embracing change. Beyond its impact on the royal family, Anne's resignation will deeply affect the many charities and organizations she supported. Her role wasn't just ceremonial, Anne was hands-on, showing genuine interest in the causes she championed. She attended events, met with key people, and gave her royal endorsement, which held great significance. The charities and organizations that have relied on Anne's support now face an uncertain future. While other royals may step in, the emotional and practical impact of losing such a dedicated advocate can't be overstated. For many of these groups, royal patronage is more than just a symbol of prestige. It's a crucial part of their outreach, fundraising, and public engagement efforts. Without Anne, they must navigate a new reality that may not include the same level of royal involvement or personal dedication. King Charles' visible emotion during the announcement of Anne's writ of Anne's resignation hints at the deep personal toll this event is taking on him. Anne has been more than just his sister. She's been a loyal ally and confidant, especially during difficult times. Her departure leaves Charles without one of his most trusted supports, adding yet another challenge to his already demanding role as monarch. Without Anne's presence, King Charles may find himself more exposed to both internal and external pressures. The psychological support of a sibling who fully grasps the unique demands of royal life is irreplaceable. This loss could influence Charles's decision-making, possibly making him more dependent on advisors or leading to a greater sense of isolation in his role. Anne's absence isn't just a logistical issue, it's a personal loss that may subtly shape his leadership and its direction moving forward. That wraps up today's content. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below and share your views with me and everyone else. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye, and see you next time.